fashion art pieces, they're done in a very different style to what most of my portraits are done. I use different styles, I use realism, uh, so they're more expressive. I paint a lot with palette knife uh, and you use different tools. And they're not as detailed, but the astronaut pieces I felt because you have such an interesting subject matter, not just faces, you've got suits and you've got, you've got helmets and you've got all of that technology that makes the suits so interesting. It'll be a kind of a shame to not really delve into that. I really want to show it. I want to show how, how light re reacts on that fabric you know, of the suit. So they are very detailed. They're done in a very realistic style, which means they take forever to complete but I really wanted to show all the details of the suit and really embrace and, and celebrate the subject matter. So that's why the, the style is very different. You know, being in lockdown and isolation and all of that, uh, I think that kind of subconsciously played on my mind and, and I just wanted to, to start doing these. I think the whole thing about an astronaut being encapsulated or isolated in his own little habitat, almost like, like a spacesuit does, I think that's the thing that I try to portray in my work is that isolation and also that vulnerability. You know, there's, there's that vulnerable element where an astronaut is completely uh, reliant uh, on his suit to keep him alive, you know, it's like a little it's like a little habitat, that's where he gets his oxygen from, that's what keeps him warm, that's how he communicates, he's completely reliant and vulnerable, but completely reliant on that suit to keep him alive. And yeah, it's, I think there's that vulnerability and that isolation that we experienced during lockdown that subconsciously played on my mind to start creating these works. There's a lot of other elements that is added to these works. Some of the pieces that I've done has a pop culture element. I've done one with the McDonald's cup. I've done one with the Lay's potato chips. And you know, that's, that's pop culture elements that I play with. You know, very contrasting elements. You don't, you don't expect an astronaut to be drinking McDonald's, takeaways, whatever, or, uh, or, or eating Lay's potato chips. It's elements that contrast with one another, but at the same time, it is something that normal people can relate to. Being an astronaut is something that most people cannot relate to. There's two pieces, so one called Trust and one called Betrayal. Again, you know, an astronaut in a suit is something that really separates them from nature. But then I add birds or I would add like little goldfish um, to create that relationship between something that is really man-made and foreign and something that is very natural. And there's almost like a relationship between these two elements again, you know. In, in the paintings that I've done, there's, there's an intimacy or relationship between nature and the astronaut. And then there's uh, some pieces that are also quite spiritual. And the first one was Saviour and Saviour 2 where uh, a dove is used. Uh, in the one there's two doves used with the astronaut wearing a halo. Uh, when you do conceptual work, it's almost like surrealism. You can, you can pretty much do anything. That's what makes the work interesting is that there's, there's no restrictions. You can, you can use your total creativity. That's something that really appeals to me. That's something that I really want to keep on pushing. I bring in those elements. I bring in nature or pop culture or spiritual elements to make it easier for people to relate to a subject matter that's really quite foreign. I hope that, that, that this explains some of my ideas, uh, some of my concepts and how I approach these works uh, so that people just have a you know, somewhat better understanding.